Hello and welcome to a podcast. I'm here with my mate Max. Woo! Ow. And we're just I just want to do a little bit of a podcast. It is the time is now nine uh, fourteen minutes past nine and we have the topic of Band of Brothers. Would it have still been called Band of Brothers if it was just like two of them? I think so. Because that's a duet. So think about it like this. It would be the duet of brothers. Well, yeah. But Band of Brothers, who's your favourite character in Band of Brothers? Oh, I don't really have one. Really? I, I like, no, just the... I can't think of his name. He's either ginger or he's blonde. Like, the Sergeant Major is quite tall. He survives to the end. I can't... Oh. What, you mean Sergeant Winners? Yes, that's him, I think. Oh, yeah, the main the main character sort of guy. My favourite yeah. was... I don't know his last name, but his first name was Johnny. Oh, I think I know the one you mean, yeah. Yeah, he was sort of like a captain, and I don't know why, because he didn't really say many lines, but I just love that character. I thought he played it so well. i tell you what, ha- um, the first Jackass... You know the first Jackass film? Yeah. He's in it's that. It's so similar to Band of Brothers. Yeah, he's in that. Know. No, no. In the first... No, Kick-Ass, sorry. In the first Kick-Ass film, he's the mate who gets crushed in the Land Rover. That is the mate is I'm talking about. Yeah. Check out oh. that check out that clip now. That's the mate I'm talking about. Oh. Did you know that Mark Wahlberg's brother was in Band of Brothers as well? No. Yep. As in the as in the original, you know, the ones that actually fought in World War Two. No. Because that's Mark... what a lot of people forget, is that was actually based on the true stories and everything. Yeah. Major Dick Winners died in two thousand eleven. There was a big memorial. I think there's still a museum where he lives. Wow, I didn't realise, wow. Yeah. I think it's yeah. amazing what these guys went through and then just... Yeah. But, uh, watching Band of Brothers, it, it, weirdly enough, it was my childhood film. Well, series of films. And the one episode that I never was able to watch was the episode 9 with the Holocaust. Yeah, that was such dark. I just, I just, I know they would, like... If they if they were alive now and I met a a Jew, um, I knew they would never hurt me. If they me. were alive now, well, you know, the Jew, Jews are alive everywhere, man. No, I mean, it's a religion. If the Holocaust happened now and I saw it, like they did in Band of Brothers, I know they wouldn't hurt me, but they just look like evil, don't they? I know, I know that's probably quite a harsh thing to say. But when you're it's a little... I think it must be the connection because they, they do look very zombie. Yes, that but is. To be fair, you think how they were starved and stuff. And to be fair, I actually felt sorry for some of the guards, the German yeah. guards. Yeah. Cause Cause... It's a big misconception that all of them wanted to do it. Mm, some of them is... were pressured to do it because they didn't do it, they would be. Mm, I'm half German and my granddad was in World War Two, and he was saying that he didn't want to do it. But he had no but choice. But he had no choice, yeah. yeah. He hated the Nazi flag. But he had no See, choice. He had to serve under it. And that's what people forget. Yeah. And, you know, it. and I always get taken the piss out of at school uh, for being German. I My do. Was as well. I, it's, it's everyone so takes the mic, but I just so take it. Down. But yeah, everyone thinks that I'm a Nazi because I'm German. So it's, it's quite hard sometimes. But yeah, yeah I mean, they they didn't want it to happen. Some of them did. Some of them were fucking insane. But we didn't. Not all of us. On behalf of Germany, we didn't want that to happen. Blame fucking Austria. My brother's uh, when he was at school, he basically had the social experiment, and they had three candidates to choose from. One, both of them were basically drug addicts. Yeah. With opium yeah. addictions and stuff. Mm-hmm. And one was a war hero who like won the most prestigious award. Yeah. Stuff. So of course they all voted for him because you know who wouldn't vote for a war hero over a druggie? Yeah. The war hero turned out to be Hitler, as an Adolf Hitler. Ah, oh, love him. One lovely. of the drug addicts turned out to be Winston Churchill because he used to have a bit of an addiction to opium. Hmm. And I forget who the other one was. Probably the American president. Uh, was it how at the time? I think it was Roosevelt, actually, yeah. 
I'm not too sure, but I think it was Roosevelt in World War Two. Because he died before the end. Yeah. And the vice president took over. Hmm. If I remember correctly. People blame, you know, think World War Two was this horrific event, which it was. I'm not saying it wasn't. But so, so, so many of our modern inventions come from it. Yeah. Rockets. The tank. By the Germans. Jet engines. Also yeah. by the Germans. Computers by English to crack to crack the Enigma code. Yeah, they made a film about that. Have you seen that film? Yes, it's amazing. I haven't. I really want to watch it. It's the same oh, it with the Stephen to. Hawking film. Oh, The Theory of Everything. I haven't seen that, but I so want to. It does look good. It looks amazing. <laughs> yeah, the uh, Imitation Game is called, isn't it? Yes, Imitation Game. It's so good. It does look good. He he so deserved a movie and to be known about more. Yeah, definitely. He was gay as well, wasn't he? Yes, but I, I think it's in the 50s he was caught out for being gay. This is a guy who basically won the Second World War. Yeah. About him and the people who were cracking the Enigma codes. Hmm. But I watched probably the... would have lost. Hmm. I watched the trailer and when he's in the office talking to that matey and that person says, did you know that 10 people have died because of a because of um, Enigma, and he goes, "Really? Is that it?" He went, "Since we've had this conversation." Yeah. Yeah. You see, and without I... backing it, it probably would have ended. Yeah, I mean, Germany really should have won the Second World War. The only problem they had was Hitler. Hitler got involved with too many yeah, of their he strategies. Yeah, got involved thinking, "Oh, I'm the best. I'm the Führer." Yeah. You attack you. You do this. You know, the exactly. Germans had the best technology at the time, and normally, as I do a lot of battle strategy, the force with the superior technology normally wins. Mm. But Not all the time, but normally. I'll give you to... an example. When they first took out a jet plane, right, it was absolutely perfect. It was destroying everything. It was so fast. Then Hitler went, what about if we made it into a bomber? So they had to pull all of them back, which cost money, time, which they did not have any time, nor money really, and that was one of the reasons they lost the war. And he also you came. Know, up... Pardon? Apparently, I was watching this thing the other day. Apparently, what two billion dollars worth of gold, Nazi gold, is still missing? Really. Yeah, and apparently in a lake up in the Austrian mountains, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, they apparently threw like 125 million for Ford's English banknotes and currency. Wow! They literally threw it into a lake, and no one can get to the bottom of that lake because the lake literally has like zero percent oxygen. <laughs> Which, if you have an oxygen tank, I don't understand, but I don't do the whole diving no. thing. So yeah, apparently we've recovered some of it, but not all of it. Yeah, it's it's. I love hearing these little small time war stories, like you know, monuments men, a bunch yes, of a bunch of so retired cool. artists go looking for art in probably one of the ridiculous places at that sort of time. Just, yeah, just oh, for art. I, I and love it... some of the lines in that as well. Yeah, but it's it's little stories like that and make make the world sort of a good place in a way like we can have a yes. heroic moments like that in the worst types of places oh there's a movie about a girl the book thief oh yeah i wanted to watch that as well <laughs> see i did that didn't appeal to me as much i will admit i am the type but won't watch a movie well most of the time only watch a movie as like some bar has some you know fighting and stuff in yeah which is bad on my half i do agree but mm -hmm. I do watch stuff that hasn't got any fighting in it as well. It's just book thief never majorly appealed to me. Yeah. Yeah. But it's there are some amazing stories from even look at nowadays, you know. People always going like, Oh, they were the best generation and stuff. They were. They were a really good generation, but we forget the generations what carried on from that. They get we get lost in the shadows about some of the yeah. Bravest people. Yeah. Did you hear about the guy the other day? Did you hear about the massacre at that beach resort in 
what that's just recently happened like yeah. yesterday yeah a man and his fiance were there yeah mm -hmm. he threw himself in front of his fiance and got shot three times mm. to save her and get her to run away i did hear about that yeah you see and you have a, i think the small kindness what happens in the world, you know, the small pieces of acts you do, the giving the money to the guy who's on the street begging, the people go and buy him food and give it to him. Yeah. You know, yeah. the people will go Have out and Have you seen the suicide experiment? The Darwin Award? No, these two guys, right, get into a, a taxi, two different, completely, two completely different taxis, and they basically talk about what's going on they're talking about why they get upset youtube it because it really is one of the most inspirational things coming out of modern day and it's basically about these two guys they're not actually going to jump but these two random taxi drivers in la stop people who they don't know is on camera from jumping and it it's quite emotional to watch actually uh, i'll watch that yeah that sounds really good it need really to link is. in the description of the thing yeah, I try. Oh, our lovely viewers can find it. Yes. That's why I, I talk to you guys. <laughs> I'm I, Deadpool. I, I will do. break the fourth wall like mad. <laughs> uh, He's the best hero. He's so underrated. Did you know they're making a film? Yes. Yes, Deadpool. And I hope it is better than the Deadpool did in the actual Wolver or Wolverine Origins he was in. Oh, yeah. People don't know who Deadpool was in that. He was the guy with the swords in the, like, the early bit, who went around cutting the bullets out of midair, and who Wolverine fights at the very end. Who he has all like all the mutant powers. Fair That's enough. Wade. That's Deadpool. Yeah, but have you seen the list of um of um the films coming out for Marvel? Yeah. For um since now to 2019 it's a few jesus they're busy marvel studios isn't owned by marvel really no who's it, who's it owned by let me guess I disney think it's owned by disney to be fair disney own a lot anyway true true walt disney was a nazi coming back yes. to an yes he was topic. actually wasn't he 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 believed in the nazi party it just goes to show you. Yeah, one of probably the most loved people in America. Created Disney, for God's sake. Probably one of the best companies to work for slash ever. But they're actually good to work for then. I always thought they were very demanding. Well, when you talk to, and you hear like the, you know, the kids celebrities would do it. The Disney kids. Yeah. Like Miley yeah. Cyrus. Well, Miley's just an attention. Oh, Miley's an except. Miley isn't. Yeah, but you know, odd odd ones as well. I can't think of any more. She's like the most famous I know. Selena I can't think Gomez. of any more. Uh... Oh, yeah. You know, Disney kids, they seem to always go rather wild after they work for Disney. I think yeah, says, Disney yeah. are very controlled. You can't do this, you can't do that, you know. Yeah, because of kids. You've got to you know, remember they like are. That. Yeah, exactly. They are for kids. I mean, you can't have swearing or anything like that. They've only allowed one movie, I think, to have blood in it from Disney, and that was Finding Nemo. Yeah. Thing is, though, modern society, we teach kids to be sluts. If you look at the 90s, you look at, like, a 90s bad girl, yeah? Uh -huh. The whole, you know, like... Uh... So... I'm not sure where the video cut there, but we were talking about Disney girls, weren't we? Disney kids in general, not just the girls, you know, guys yeah. as well. But you, it is this the problem with modern day society is we have so much advanced technology. Well, basically what we're using now to talk now, but we have so much advanced technology that we're not opening our eyes to see you know what's out in the world we're too busy on our phones we're too busy caring about the little things do you ever watch that uh music video done by oh can't think of their names now basically it's called uh 
put your phone down and just basically trying to see people like because everyone's on their phone all the time. Yeah. You know, yeah. even kids. I've seen like five year olds running around with iPhones. Mm. <clears throat> you know, I mean we've got this amazing around I never had a phone at five. I didn't even have a phone until I was like fourteen. I This makes I... me feel really old saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I have an iPhone, right? It's an iPhone five C. I don't use it at all compared to compared to someone else. Um, a kid mm. my age, I do not use this at all. So, see, I don't get the whole um, life. My life uh, revolves around Facebook because Facebook. Yeah, shit. to social media and stuff. You know, I mean. Yeah. Who needs, you know, I mean, why would you... Some of the stuff people tweet is so stupid or people, people put on Facebook. I think people take it you know too annoys seriously. Me? Biggest pet peeve I have about it. When people put on it, it's like, oh, I'm so down. And people yeah. are like, oh, what's wrong? And they're like, I don't want to talk about it. It's like... Mm. They don't... They just put want... It? They just want the sympathy. What I don't get, right, and... I'm sorry to any of the people watching this if this offends you, but what I hate is when you see people who do like, oh yeah, I I've showed my nudes to people and he spread it. I hate this sort of lifestyle. Then why the fuck would you do it in the first place? You know what I mean? Yeah, totally. Yeah. The hypocrites. Exactly. It's like, oh, why did I do this? Well, because you're an idiot. Grow up, stop thinking the world revolves around you, and pick up a book once in a while, for God's sake. Do you know, my brother told me this, my brother who studied sociology, me... apparently the world spent, this is the entire world, mind you, like 50 billion like pounds in one year, yeah. Mm -hmm. A pound you would only take like ten billion to cure world hunger. Wow, it's amazing. I think we're just full of greed a bit too much. The world, aren't we? We need to. The world's turned very much into an an entire narcissist. Yeah, which is so self cent Which is a person who's so self centered. What they don't care what their actions do to others, providing they get what they want. Mm. For those anyway, who didn't um, I think we've run out of time for this episode. Will you? We, would you do this again with me, Max? Of course. It's been quite fun. Boy. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you, if you have an opinion, please share in the comments of what we've been talking about. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you all later. Goodbye. See you later.